good afternoon dear students today we are going to discuss microbial analysis of air okay now here we are going to discuss what are the different um, uh, parameter of uh, how can we monitor the microorganism present in air now microbial spores as well as microbial cells like bacterial cells spores fungal cells and spores or viruses may be present in air as droplets as bioaerosols and they may remain suspended in air for a long period of time as suspended particles because they are smaller in size or if they are larger in size they can settle down on the surfaces okay so these organisms can be an important source of infection in medical facilities in hospitals in food factories and or even in office buildings and other working environments and they can contaminate sensitive manufacturing operations okay so these microorganisms which are suspended in air as droplets as bioaerosols or which have settled down on surfaces can be a potential source of infection now for example high level of airborne fungal spores if present in bakeries may have a significant negative effect on the shelf life of the bakery product okay so monitoring of airborne microorganism is very important okay it's a key component of environmental monitoring especially in pharmaceuticals sector hospitals food factories and variety of other environments so monitoring of airborne microorganisms we are going to study in microbial analysis of air okay now there are two methods of sampling air one is passive monitoring and another one is active sampling both active and passive sampling or monitoring technique uh, play their part but active sampling methods are have become an essential environmental monitoring tool especially of in pharmaceutical and medicine medical devices and in hospitals okay what is passive monitoring passive monitoring is generally done on settling plate plates or settled plates also called as sedimentation plates now what happens in passive monitoring is we don't have any um, air sampler or volume of air sampled in is not calculated at all what we do is we take a standard petri dish containing appropriate culture medium maybe selective media or maybe a medium which supports the growth of all kind of microorganisms okay so here we use settled plates also called as sedimentation plates where we have a petri dish containing appropriate culture medium the petri dish is ex opened and exposed to air okay whichever air or in whichever room we want to monitor the air in that room we will open the plate and keep it exposed to air for say a period of 30 minutes to 60 minutes now bioaerosols or particles the settle on the surface of the media in the plate due to gravitational force and these microorganisms or particles settle on the plate the plates are closed and incubated okay after incubation the particles that have settled down contains containing microorganism develop into visible colonies the colonies are counted and analyzed this is simple passive monitoring so passive monitoring is generally done on settling plate where petri dishes containing appropriate media are exposed to air uh, bioaerosols are trapped in the plate okay or they settle on the plate after incubation colonies develop the colonies can be counted as well as analyzed we don't use any air sampler here hence the volume of air trapped is not known to us okay now then another one is active monitoring okay now what is active monitoring active monitoring requires the use of microbiological air sampler what we need in active monitoring is the air sampler to physically draw a known volume of air over the surface of a medium or through a particle collection device right so active monitoring makes use of air sampler to physically draw a known volume of air over the surface of medium or inside the medium or through a particle collection device so mainly there are two types of samplers one more type is filtration method but mainly active monitoring is done by two type of samplers impingers and impactors impinge or you can say impingement in liquid uh, and and the another method is impaction on solid medium okay so we make use of impingers and 
vectors. What are impingers? Samplers which use impingement technique. Okay, samplers which use impingement technique. And in impingement technique, air is impinged or air is allowed to is bubbled or ent allowed to enter inside liquid medium. So impingement is generally done in liquid. Impingers use a liquid medium for particle collection. Okay, impingers use liquid medium for particle collection. Typically, sampled air, okay, through the air sample, sam air is sampled. Sampled air is drawn by a suction pump. Okay, you can see this is uh, air inlet in the diagram. So, sampled air is drawn by a suction pump through narrow inlet into a no, you can say narrow inlet tube into a small flask containing the liquid medium where the bioaerosols get trapped. Okay, so through a suction pump, through air inlet tube, air is this air inlet is connected to air sampler. Through the air sampler, a definite volume of air is sucked inside the suction pump, and through the narrow uh, inlet tube, it goes into the flask containing liquid medium where the air gets mixed up with, where the bioaerosols present in the air get mixed up with the liquid medium. Okay, now once the sampling is complete, the liquid medium is taken out from the bottle or the sampler and it is cultured. Okay, culturing is done using this liquid medium containing the bioaerosols trapped inside it. Okay, so the it is cultured and uh, you can see viable uh, viable organisms, whatever viable organisms are present uh, in the air sample will grow and produce colonies. So we can count the number of colonies, that means we can enumerate the number of microorganisms uh, and by studying the colony characteristics or making further studies, we can identify what kind of microorganisms are present in that particular air. Since the volume of air sampled is known, can be calculated using the flow rate and sampling time, the result is quantitative, okay? You, you know here, here you know the volume of air sampled by using the flow rate, sampling time and all. So results are quantitative. You can quantitate that in this much volume of air, these many microorganisms were present. So it's a quantitative method. So once again, with the help of an inlet, Okay, the inlet is connected to a air sampler. Through the air sampler like that, you can see this is a flow meter which controls the flow. Then this is a pump, this is an impinger trap, and this is a impinger containing the liquid medium. Okay, with the help of flow meter, we know how much amount of air is flowing in and the time for which the air is allowed to enter inside. We know how much volume of air was sampled. So, definite amount of sample of air is allowed to enter inside the liquid medium. Then the liquid medium is cultured, colonies grow, we count the number of colonies and we also can identify the bacteria. So these are also two different types of impingers, okay? Glass tubes, or you can say, these are the tubes which contain liquid medium and air is with, uh, allowed to enter into this device, okay? So these are the impingers. What is the advantage? Because we are collecting liquid medium, the sample can be analyzed using a variety of methods. Okay, not just plating. We plate the medium and find out how many number of organisms are present, what type of organisms are present. But in addition to that, molecular techniques like PCR can also be applied and we can get results more rapidly. The most important disadvantage of impingement technique is usually or traditionally the instruments uh, are made up of glass which are very much undesirable in food and pharmaceutical production sites. Okay, sometimes impingement into liquid may also damage some microbial cells and affect their viability because uh, maybe with force, impingement of uh, bioaerosols into the liquid medium is done with a particular force, okay, with a particular speed. So that may damage microbial cell and the viable count may reduce, okay. And long sampling times may allow same, same cells to multiply in the liquid collection medium. If the sampling time is very long, then some cells which have already entered inside the liquid medium may multiply and we may get a more, we may get more count, okay. 
so that there that are the uh, minor disadvantages otherwise impingement in liquid is a good method now another type of air samplers are impactors samples using samplers using impaction technique impaction is generally done on solid medium plates containing solid medium impactor samplers use a solid medium like agar for particle collection and are much more commonly used than impingers because of convenience of use impactors are more convenient to use because solid medium is there then uh, we don't have to handle a very fragile uh, you can say uh, impingers made up of glass and all okay so that it is convenient to use impaction technique in a typical impactor uh, sampler air is drawn into sampling head by a vacuum pump okay in a typical impactor impactor sampler air is drawn into a sampling head by a vacuum pump and that amount of air that volume of air is accelerated through a perforated plate it is also called as sieve sampler or through a narrow slit that is slit sampler okay so we may have sieve sampler or slit sampler or we may directly go uh, okay now so through the uh, sieve sampler or through the slit sampler or through a narrow perforated tube or through a narrow slit a definite volume of air is accelerated and is allowed to go and get deposited on the surface of a medium taken in a petri dish okay this allows this technique okay what technique uh, with the help air is drawn into sampling head by vacuum pump and accelerated through sieve or through a narrow slit this allows the particle to strike and impact on the surface of agar and they get trapped on the surface of agar the plates are then incubated colonies are counted and they can be studied for example sieve sampler anderson air sampler centrifugal sampler and so on what are the advantages of impaction technique impaction samplers are convenient okay pre pro pre poured gamma irradiated contact plates and standard petri dish from specialist suppliers can be used with them to minimize the risk of contamination and variation okay so impaction samplers are convenient to use and nowadays gamma irradiated already sterilized pre poured standard petri dishes containing specific media are available and we can make use of it and make the process more convenient okay they are also uh, able to handle higher flow rates and large sample volumes necessary to monitor air quality in clean rooms where the number of microbes present in like is likely to be very low that means impactors or impaction samplers can handle higher flow rate and large sample volume also because if we have a room where number of microbes the room is very clean and microbes are very few in number then and if the count is low then also impaction technique is useful because here impaction samplers can handle high flow rate and can sample large volume of air okay what are the limitations uh, microbial cells may be damaged by mechanical stress during sampling and hence they may lose their viability most impaction samplers also do not allow use of rapid methods you know, mostly we incubate the plate and go on so uh, rapid methods can should be used to enumerate and characterize microorganism because uh, generally uh, in impaction technique conventional culture methods are used so we can use we must use rapid methods to make the process more faster so this problem can be overcome by use of water soluble polymer gel instead of agar this allows the sample to be analyzed by pcr technique also okay no need to use agar only now one of the best known uh, i can say impaction sampler is the anderson air sampler it's a multi stage cascade sieve sampler it's a multi stage cascade step in a step wise manner we go on uh, trapping the air okay sieve sampler that uses perforated plate with progressively small holes at each stage allowing particles to be separated according to their size so we'll be studying in the next uh, here 
about air sample, uh, Anderson air sampler. It's a multi-stage sampler. There are six stages, six different plates, and uh, it's it is called cascade because it's like a step one above the other. The plates are plate, uh, placed. It's a sieve sampler. That means perforations are present on the top of the plate. Through the perforations, by aerosols or you can say air gets uh, uh, enters in on the surface of the plate. Okay. okay. Now, at each stage, the particles, I mean, so the sieve size or the hole size goes on decreasing and different size particles can be collected. We'll study Anderson air sampler. Another well-known in, uh, instrument is Casella slit sampler, in which there is a slit uh, positioned above a turntable on which is placed agar plate. So agar plate is placed on a turntable where there is a slit. Air is drawn with the help of a sampler. Air enters through the slit and as the agar plate rotate, the agar plate is rotating so that particles are deposited evenly on the surface of the agar. So this is a kind of slit sampler. Okay, so there is a slit and there is a rotor on which the agar plate is placed. The rotor moves, air enters through the slit on the uh, through the slit and gets evenly distributed as the agar plate rotates. Okay. Now, the other type of uh, samplers that are used for active monitoring are filter, filter samplers. The most commonly used alternative is filtration. Air, in, in case of filtration, air is drawn by a pump or vacuum line through a membrane filter. Here, we use a membrane filter. Okay, so through a pump or with the help of vacuum line, air is drawn through a membrane filter. That means air passes through the membrane filter. And the bioaerosols or microorganisms or particles get trapped on the surface of the membrane filter. The membrane filter may be made up of polycarbonate or cellulose acetate. The membrane is, after filtration of a definite volume of air, the membrane is incubated directly by transferring on the surface of agar medium or gelatin. Okay. Then the medium is incubated and colonies are counted. Alternatively, the membrane can be dissolved in liquid medium. After filtering the medium, uh, the particles are trapped on the surface of the membrane filter. So you can directly place the membrane filter on the surface of agar medium or and allow the uh, organisms to grow and count the colonies or else the membrane filter is dipped or dissolved in a liquid medium and then or the, we remove the filter and analyze by culture or rapid methods. Filtration methods are accurate, reliable, and portable. Filtration samples designed for pharmaceutical industries are available with us. Okay, the accurate, reliable, and uh, portable filtration devices are available. However, it is less convenient than impaction based sampling and may cause dehydration stress in the trapped microbes okay because microorganisms are trapped on a dry membrane filter so dehydration stress may be there but though it is uh, you can say accurate and reliable and portable method but less convenient than impaction okay now we have to study in our syllabus sedimentation plate technique or settling plate technique now sedimentation plate or settling plate technique is again impaction on solid batch uh, here, we are going to study passive monitoring. We are not going to study active monitoring here. It is the simplest and oldest method of bacteriolog uh, bacteriological analysis of air. One or more specific medium is taken in the Petri dish. Nowadays, we have plates having sectors or compartments, say four compartments, and in the four different compartments, four different medias can be placed. So plate with several sectors containing different media are available commercially. The medium like nutrient agar can be used because it will support the growth of almost all kinds of microorganisms. You can go for tryptocase soy agar, blood agar. If you want to isolate streptococci, staphylococci from that particular environment, or you want to check whether streptococci, staphylococci are present, then you can use special, a specific media, Columbia media with uh, horse, sheep, uh, blood, or uh, sorry, it's horse. Huh? It's, the spelling is wrong. Yeah? It's, it is H-O-R-S-E, horse or sheep blood, Saberouds dextrose agar chloram with chloramphenicol for isolation of fungi and all okay so depending upon the particular group of microorganism that you want to detect in that particular air from that particular air or in that environment you can use specific media or you can use a simple medium like nutrient agar which will support the growth of almost all kind of microorganisms okay so most of the time non-selective growth medium 
capable of supporting the growth of broad spectrum of microorganism including aerobes anaerobes fungi yeast molds is preferred okay so whatever may be the case we have a petri dish containing a specific medium required medium the petri dish containing agar medium is kept covered and at the time of sampling the cover of the plate is removed from the petri dish so that the agar surface is exposed to air for a period of say 30 to 60 minutes we don't know how much volume of air is sampled here because it is not connected to a sampler okay if you connect it to an air sampler, you will come to know how much volume of air was sampled, right? Now, the Petri dish, after exposing it to air for a period of 30 to 60 minutes, the lid, lid of the dish is uh, closed and the plate is incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Then, after 24 hours, you can see a number of colonies develop on the surface of agar medium. You can count the colonies, you can analyze the colonies, you can identify the colonies and identify also what kind of microbes are present in that particular environment each colony represents a particle carrying microorganism which has fallen on the surface of agar what we consider is one colony is formed from one particle which has fallen on the agar so uh, one colony forming unit has given rise to one colony okay since only particles of certain dimensions tend to settle on the agar surface what is the drawback of this method you can say uh, particles of definite size or dimension settle tend to fall or settle on the agar surface those particles which are very fine or small in size they remain in air they remain suspended in air and cannot be counted because they do not settle on the surface of the plate okay uh, by the action of gravity and the escape detection procedure okay so only particles of certain dimension tend to settle on the agar surface and also the volume of air entering inside the petri dish is not known technique this technique gives you only a rough estimate and can be used only to isolate airborne microorganisms what are the uses of the method analyze analyze what kind of airborne microorganisms are present in that particular environment and test the air in surgical operation theaters, hospital wards, rooms, etc. Okay, so analyzing and testing the air in operation theaters, hospital wards, rooms, etc. What is the advantage of the method? Simple method, special device for air sampling is not required. Simple uh, method requiring minim having minimum requirements. Okay, so what is the disadvantage? You don't know the volume of air that is sampled. Okay. And uh, secondly, it measures only the rate of deposition of larger air particles. Okay. So only larger air particles settle on the surface of the plate because they are, have larger size. So they uh, settle under the action of gravity. Smaller particles because of their lower mass or due to turbulence in air do not settle on the agar surface and they hence they cannot be detected. They escape detection. So that is the most important disadvantage of this method. Okay. You can see there. There is a plate which has been exposed to air and you can see colonies. You can measure the, um, you can count the number of colonies. You can study the different type of colonies and come to know what kind of microorganisms were, are present in that particular air or in that room. Okay. Here, this plate is also showing various type of colonies um, which are showing beta hemolysis. Okay. So that, that way you can identify what kind of microorganisms are present in air if you use a specific media like the one used here containing which is blood agar, which contains blood. So you can study beta hemolysis by uh, streptococci and all, right? So uh, you can study different kind of microorganisms by using a different specific media, okay? By using a settling plate technique. Now the next method which we want to study is Anderson air sampler. This is an air sampler which represents impaction on solid surface. Okay, this we will study in next lecture.